Good morning, Beast Pumps. Welcome back to the beach. I'm getting a very early start this morning. The sun is not even up yet. We got about another hour before sun up. Trying to change things up a little bit. Haven't had a whole lot of success lately with Pompano, so I'm trying to go at a completely different time, get here before sun up, see if that pre sunrise bite, maybe we can find some fish. Really need to scratch off my 2021 Pompano. I haven't even caught a small one, nothing yet. So I'm really itching to get my first Pompano on the beach. So hopefully today will be the day. Going with the standard bait this morning, piece of fresh dead shrimp and fish bites. This is the pink shrimp flavor on this dropper here. Sun is starting to come up. We've got a little bit of cloud cover, so I ain't quite made it up, but we, we've got some light coming in. Beautiful morning. Great conditions. Little chilly. We're on the back side of a cold front from a few days ago. Got a hit and some slack. There we go, there we go, there we go. There's a fish. That's gotta be a pump. Gotta be a pump. Oh, he's hitting the top. Oh gosh, okay, okay. Stay pinned. This could be my first pop of the year. He's getting sideways, this is so crazy. I haven't caught a pop it up forever. Come here, come here. Oh, he's wrapped in that other line. Dang it, dang it. Dang it. Okay. Come here. Woo. First pop. <laughs> oh, he's not that big. That's okay. I think he's legal. Oh, man. Heck yeah. Woo. I put in so many hours for this fish. He took the bottom drop with the shrimp and pink shrimp fish bites. First pompano of the season. It has taken me a lot of hours <laughs> to find this fish. He's not very big, I haven't measured him. I'm gonna guess he's probably about 14. Legal fish. He's going home, he's gonna be delicious. It's gonna taste so good. I've put in a lot of work for this fish. Man, I'm so ready for this run to get kicked off <laughs> and going. It felt so much bigger. They're just such a hard fighting fish. It's been several months since I've caught one. I'm so pumped. Man, I'm stoked. All right, let's get a measure. He, I pegged that one. He is like 14 on the dot. They just gotta be 12 here in the state of Alabama. There we go. When I'm catching Pompano, honestly, I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just like so stoked and it's so intense. Pompano are so aggressive. They fight so hard. I just I just kind of freak out a little bit, especially when I haven't caught him in a while. So I honestly have no idea what I said while I was catching that fish. It was probably just a bunch of gibberish. I'll get more relaxed as I start catching a few more and can actually process some thoughts a little bit better. I got two bites, one fish, but hey, first pompano of the season. Scratched it off the list. But since this is my first one, I'm gonna take it home and cook it up. I think I might cook it whole. I've never personally cooked one whole. I've eaten a couple whole. But I've never cooked it myself, so I don't really know what I'm doing, but. Hey! Who are you dressed up as? Your Annalise, who are you dressed up as? Minnie! Minnie Mouse, that's right. Minnie Mouse. Yep. I've got our whole pompano here. I've already cut some slits in it, and I've got some stuff prepared here, ready to go. 
I've never cooked a whole pompano, so this is going to be new for me. Have you ever had whole fish? No, and I'm scared. Courtney's a little scared. <laughs> she, she's a little nervous. And Annalise is You're scared, scared too. too. I've just got a wing in this. I've never done it. And the only time I've been a part of cooking a whole pompano was with Caleb down in South Florida. I'm going to use just a little bit of olive oil. Just rub that on the fish here. I'm going to add on some salt and pepper on both sides of the fish and inside. And I think I'm going to put some zatarans in there as well. Just to give it a little bit of a kick. I don't know. <laughs> We're winging it, man. That's how I always do these things. Would you do this with any other kind of fish? Um, it depends. I mean, you could you can cook any fish whole, pretty much. But pompano is like... There's some people that would get mad at you if you don't cook pompano whole. Like, it's one of those fish that hmm. is good cooked whole. Mm -hmm. Gonna throw in a little zatarans just to add some spice. I'm not gonna get crazy with it. I don't want too much in there. Whoops! I'm making a mess. I'm gonna stuff in some lemons, which I don't know how well I can fit all this in here, and some butter. I did gut and and uh, remove the gills on this fish. May have been better just like, I'm gonna cut that in half. I don't know what I'm doing, figuring it out. Does that look right, E? Sure. <laughs> go with it. There we go, it'll stay, that looks good to me. And we'll just stick some butter on top there. And also on the inside. Is that too much butter? No, can't ever have Not too enough. much butter. One more? One more there. I've also got just a little bit of parsley cut up. We're going to stick that inside and on top. Well, bam! <laughs> <laughs> it looks great, doesn't it? I mean, it's got it good color. It looks really pretty. It's got color. Yeah. I'm sure there are people that actually cook that are watching this that are like having a heart attack right now. We're going to cover it up and throw it in the oven. We've got it set at 400, and we're going to do it for 20 minutes. And then I'm going to uncover it and do it for another 10 minutes. We'll see how it goes. All right, we've had our fish in for 30 minutes total. I did it covered for 20, uncovered for 10. And I'm turning it on broil on high. And I'm going to put it in just for like a couple of minutes. I'm going to keep a close eye on it just to give it a little bit more crisp. We are done. Woo! Got our finished product. What do you think, Courtney? It looks good. Look delicious? Nervous? Yeah, I'm a little nervous. I was nervous too. <laughs> Y'all are both nervous? Come here, you want to see it? Come look at what Daddy cooked. Look at his eye. Ooh, is that his eye poking out? Yeah. Ooh, gross. A little bit. I, I Look at his fish eye. I don't know if you're supposed to remove the eyes. I don't, Ooh, I don't think so. it like popped out. What do you think about that? <laughs> I think it turned out pretty good. It looks good to me. Got some potatoes. What do you think? Looks good. I mean, it smells good. It's weird eating something that's still looking at me. Why don't you take the first bite? No way, Jose. Do it. Well, you gotta peel it off for me. I don't know how to eat off fish off of a bone. All right, you you of course can eat the skin. I don't it's like not gonna skin. it's not gonna hurt you, but it should peel off pretty easy. There you go. There you go. And then you got just meat right there. It's really hot. Look at it. That is like smoking. It looks good. Yep. I mean, it tastes like fish. It tastes like bumbo. Is it pretty bland? Um, it's not bland. It kind of tastes like butter. <laughs> <laughs>
How do you say juicy but not juicy? That just sounds gross. Yeah. It's good. I like it. It kind of just tastes like when you fillet it and cook it in the oven and butter and salt and pepper. Like that's what it tastes like to me. Okay, what I don't know, like seasoning the fish, unless you eat the skin, you're not getting a lot of the seasoning. Yeah, so, but that's why it's good pompano, with pompano because pompano already has flavor. Yeah, I know a lot of people that skin. I'm not about that because skin is definitely fishier. There we go, came right off the bone. Looks nice and good. Tastes great. The bottom piece might be a little bit better because oh, yeah, that's where this it's stuff touching was. like the seasonings that got inside the like belly of the fish. Here's a little tidbit of information. We're gonna test this out real quick. Okay, that's the bloodline, which the bloodline in fish is what makes fish fishy. When you eat fish fresh, usually the bloodline is not very fishy. So as long as you eat it within a few hours that same day, it's usually still pretty good, but you can't taste any fishiness in this bloodline. But if it sat like in the refrigerator for several days, it'd get pretty fishy. Yeah, it tastes like every other part of the fish. Very good. Man, that's good. What do you think, thumbs up? Yeah, good. Yeah? Thumbs up. All right. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. First pompano of the season off the list. Hopefully there will be many more to come. This is the first time we've cooked a whole pompano. It's pretty daggum good. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And as always, you stay bummy.